Greetings, everybody. Greetings, greetings. We're back again with Dear Dennis in the podcast, this time Arts Edition. We have some very special guests with us today, don't we, Ellie? Yes, today we have Mr. Sam and Miss Edom. Yes. I don't know your last name, so. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Wyckoff and Edom Dake. No, Dake. Dake, see? See, that's why you asked. That's why you that's asked. That's why I just said Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, so, like I said, this is this is the Dear Denison Arts Edition. So, um, our special guests are going to kind of take us through the art scene that they are part of and how the arts at Denison has impacted their experience. So, um, I, I think Ellie, we should just dive right in. What do you think? I think we should dive straight in. This is this is my most favorite episode I've been looking forward to filming because obviously I'm very involved in the arts. I've got two awesome guests to talk about it. So yeah, let's let's get on in there. So let's jump right in. Adam, um, you first. Can you talk to us a little bit about the arts that you're a part of on campus and, and what that looks like, whether it's a singing group, a dance group, a um, just drawing group? Like, tell us a little about, about your art experience. Sure. Um, so I'm a senior. I'm also a studio art major. Um, I work mainly in photography and installation in this department, but I also um, I'm part of Tahila, which is the only gospel acapella group on campus. Ooh, I'm okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, yeah, so Tahila, we um, we're an acapella group, we sing, right? Um, but we also focus on bringing the community together through art, through music, um, bringing joy through music as well. Yeah, um, I was in Afro Spice. I helped to start it. That's one of the um, dance groups on campus, which does um, more Afrocentric dance, um, dance hall, Afro beats, and the likes. And we're very inclusive. We allow like people from any kind of background to join the group. Um, we performed at different things, like my African night, which actually happened in Eisner um, last year. But then this year, it happened in the Moonies. I'm so glad that we're able to pull it off. Um, yeah, it came together really well. So those are just a few of the art scenes that I'm involved in. Ellie, it looks like, it looks like Adam is pretty involved in the arts. Yeah, it does, it does. It looks like she's giving me a run for my money. That's for sure. Um, what about, sorry? I was just gonna say, what about Sam? Like, I wonder I wonder what Sam's a part of. Oh, I don't know if I can if I could top Adam right there but, um, <laughs> um, but I I'm a sophomore I'm a theater and philosophy double major um, in terms of the arts uh, I am also part of an acapella group on campus I'm in the Hilltoppers which is um, our all male acapella group that we have on campus I'm also in the Burpee CD theatrical company with Ellie uh, Oh, and the burpees! That. What? Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> was, wasn't Steve Carell in the burpees? Steve Carell was oh, yeah, the burpees. Ray right. says this every time. I think Ray said this five <laughs> times on a podcast. Wasn't Steve Carell in there? Yeah, we got, to, we got to meet him last year when he came back for uh, for an anniversary show. He came back. Um, yeah, he came back last year for the burpees. He knows this. This isn't another podcast. <laughs> wow, I did not know this. But go ahead, Sam. <laughs> um yeah so i'm in the burpees with ellie um on top of that i um i was a part of duop acapella last year which i cut back on this year just to just to get some more free time um and then i do the theater productions so the main stage ones last year i did a musical with them and then i'm also part of singers theater which is um, they put on a musical every year and it's run through the music department and it's just like a few hours a week. Um, and this year we actually have a performance coming up, which is exciting. Um, so finding ways to make it work this year. It's a review. So it's just, uh, we just took a bunch of different songs from a bunch of different musicals and each person has like two or three songs and we're just going to sing them on the football field for an audience in, uh, <laughs> on Saturday. So. Oh, this Saturday? Yeah. Okay. Huh. I'll need to get my ticket. Ellie, oh, me, you gotta to go, me and you got to go through there, Ellie. Yeah, I mean, Ray's yet to come see a burpee show, so um, we should call him out right now on this podcast <laughs> to come to one. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway. Ray, I'll send you a personal invitation to the next one. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. Well, it's a 24-hour show. Our next show is 24 hours, so you've got 24 hours to turn up, so there's no excuse. Mm. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to start for that one. <laughs> 
Um, so the next thing that I was going to ask you guys is when I, when I came to Denison, um, a big selling point for me was the Eisner Center because it was, we were going to be like Sam and I were going to be the first class to use it. Mm-hmm. And I'm wondering, Adam, you've been here, you were obviously here way before us. And so I'm wondering what difference that has made if, if you personally use the Eisner Center or if you've seen it and you've been down and how it compares to the old building. And then Sam, if you can talk about it as well, like after Adam. Yeah, um, I feel like once the Eisner Center was like completed and open, everyone was like in a rush to kind of use it. Um, I know the previous year and the year before, we used it for a world of dance where um, all the dance groups came together. And then there was also like um, talent, like rappers, wisdom rap. So like we were like rushing to get like- (laughs) Everybody was trying to use it. Right. and at first they were like, oh, sorry, it's only for like music department, theater department, dance mm. department. Yeah, no, like we need to use this space. So right, got, the arts is diverse. Right. We got um, Weinberg, Adam Weinberg, the president to um, talk to them. And then uh, we worked with him to get the program running. Um, fortunately, this year it didn't happen because there was just a lot going on. Everybody was trying to figure out how COVID is going to like work with everything in Eisner. So maybe next year someone could take that mantle up and use it. Um, yeah, that's just one of the ways that I have worked in Eisner. Also recently, there's like a new dance troupe, um, the Denison Liturgical Dance Troupe, which is headed by Revs, Rev Tim Carpenter. He's like a music professor, but also like the Reverend. His daughter is the one leading it. And we have rehearsal in there um, for the Easter service that just took place, um, yeah. It's a pretty nice place to use, um, just to be around as well. So, hey. awesome. And am I, Sam, allowed, you, am I allowed to be in the liturgical dance group? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. You just show up on Saturday. <laughs> All right, man, man. What about you, Sam? You have no more time to do anything, Ray. Really. Like, I don't know why you're like, <laughs> Can I join that? as if that's gonna happen? Oh, Bob, I love the arts, <laughs> Sam. What about you? <laughs> Um, yeah, I spent a ton of time at Eisner. I, uh, um, I mean, like I said, I'm a theater major, so I'm down there most of the time. Eisner is where they put the music, dance, and theater department all in one place. So I'm down there for all my theater classes and the classrooms down there. Um, last year, I also worked in the scene shop, so I was spending a ton of time down there, like building sets, and I worked with Ellie. Um, and um, just kind of messing around down there with them, which is a great experience. A great so way the, scene to... shop, the scene shop, is that for like plays that happen? Yeah, so we build the sets for all of the performances that happen that happen in Eisner um, or sometimes outside of Eisner. Um, and that's just a great way to like be involved in the arts and also get paid for it <laughs> um, mm-hmm. uh, which is nice um, I'm also down there all the time Eisner has these like really awesome practice rooms that are these soundproof rooms all around pretty much anywhere that there is space in Eisner they threw one of these soundproof practice rooms in um, that you can just go into and like play your instrument or sing or sit with your friends <laughs> so I'm down there all the time I love it down there is there mm-hmm. do you guys have a favorite part of Eisner Hmm. I for sure do. I feel like that's hard for me because I've been in like so many different spaces. I think the place I visited the most though is the costume shop because I um, borrow costumes for my own art from Joyce and also borrow costumes for the performance. And I just like, she's one of the people I always go to when I'm in need of stuff for fashion or costume work. So Mm -hmm. that's probably my favorite space. The costume shop? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sam? I. I think the best spot in Eisner is the green room in the basement or the whole basement in general. Uh, you go down there and there's just like this really nice room with like comfy chairs and tables and a refrigerator and then right across is the dressing rooms that are set up nice. And then there's like, I think the cleanest bathrooms on campus and showers all down there. It's an awesome space. Mm. Yeah, I love the green room. The green room is so nice. I'll go down there and like, um, I'll, I have a French tutor, so I'll take my French tutor and then I'll go work in the scene shop. So I'm down in Eisner so much too. Um, but that that brings us to the next question for both of you guys. Like, um, where do you guys perform? So you're in loads of different groups. Like, where do you perform? Because Adam, I know you you just mentioned there you've been in so many different spaces. Like, tell us a little bit about 
if you, there's somewhere you perform consistently or what your favorite place to perform has been like yeah mm. a favorite place to perform um so with Tahila, we perform like all around campus because we work with different departments depending on the events they're trying to throw we've performed in Swayze outside of Swayze. I like performing in the open because then you get like so many different people like walking past mm -hmm. just as well and listen, especially now that it's nicer outside. Um, we've performed at the library, we've performed at the involvement fairs that happened or used to happen um, outside. They'll come back, they'll come back. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, those are just a few. We also performed in Eisner at the, I think it's called Burke Hall. Um, mm -hmm. Burke Recital yeah. Hall, yeah. Yeah, the recital hall. And also in the new fancy room in Eisner, the, it's like a theater room, but it's still on the same floor as Burke. I don't know what it's called. I don't know if it's the- Thorson. Darren. Say that one more time. Is, is it Thorson? It's like a dance studio? Yeah. Well, no, it's, it's we, we performed there for the Hear Us um, performance. I don't know what it's called, but it's really nice. Like it has a lot of different setups. Yeah, so. Awesome. And Sam, what about you? I mean, you'll be the same, like most a cappella groups you'll see performing around campus, involvement fairs outside. Um, the, the most memorable one for me in terms of like held top of performance was when we were all getting sent home for COVID and you guys were singing Loch Lomond over the backdrop of like the, the beautiful like the scenery in the background, like at the stairs, the senior apartments and everyone was crying and it was like... <laughs> It was like the most memorable moment for me and for Tahila. The first time I ever saw Tahila was freshman year, and you guys were doing your um when you stand outside Shawnee and Smith outside the yeah. freshman dorms and oh. you sang sort of to introduce yourselves to us. Yeah. And I remember just being in awe. And Rev was there, and I was in gospel choir. Still am. It was just beautiful. <laughs> um. So yeah, Sam. Like, what? Where's been your favorite spaces and for Burpees as well? Like, um, I think my favorite, my favorite spots to perform for sure is just like when we're outside somewhere pretty public like with burpees we performed on our way down the hill from a quad mm -hmm. um, um to south quad there is this like overlook that looks out over grand mm. hill and the burpees had a show over there the other day which was so fun because like you're outside with this awesome background and everybody's sitting on the hill and people walk by and see you and sit down so beautiful um <laughs> <laughs> or like Hilltoppers on St. Patrick's Day, we had a concert outside Silverstein. Um, oh, yeah. Which was really fun because the people who run Slivy's, the, the cafe at Silverstein, they opened up the big garage doors that they have there. So people were like milling around in the lawn there, going into the, and getting food and coming out and hanging out. Um, um, or just like, like random pop-up performances we'll do sometimes where we don't advertise it or anything. We'll just all get together and go sing somewhere. And all that kind of stuff I think is the most fun when it's just like, like the most like open environment, I think is, is always, it suits Denison very well. Yeah, yeah. I can just, when I'm walking around campus, like randomly, like yesterday, I think, I don't know who, I don't know what group it was, but I was walking by Herrick and I just seen, I think it was an all male group. So what, is that the Hilltoppers? Yeah. yeah, I just saw them randomly singing, just walking to class, like all together. It was just, just stuff like that. And like Ellie said, my freshman year, um, I was walking out of my building in Shawnee and I seen Tahila and I love gospel music. So I was just like in awe, like, cause I was a freshman, didn't know they had this. I'm like, this is amazing. Um, but we're running out of time. But before we go, um, I want to get you guys' opinion, no advice, a piece of advice for incoming students who are interested in the arts. Just a really quick, um, bit or piece of advice that, that you would give to an incoming first year who, who wants to engage in the arts scene on campus? What, what kind of advice would you would you give them, Adam? I um, think one of the main things is just to try everything, try and find like where your niche is, but you can't do that unless you are open-minded. Um, I didn't know that I would love to heal as much as I do now if I, if I didn't try out for it. Because there was this reputation that like, oh, it's like an acapella group, like, oh, they're very picky. But you have to put yourself out there. Um, and also just in as much as you participate, attend other events, because the more you patronize those, the more like they would be made available to other people. Because if no one's showing up, then it's like no one's interested. But we are interested. So yeah, those are the two things I would say. Thank you. Um, my advice would be super similar to Adam's. I think like, like if you're interested in the arts, 
artists, especially if it's like performance art, come in and audition for everything. Um, even things you're not sure if you want to do, just like audition for them. Because first off, any audition is great experience for other auditions, practicing auditioning. Second off, um, you can always you can always reduce your extracurricular load, but you can't always add stuff on, especially with the performance groups when auditions only come around like once or twice a year. Just audition. Um, I mean, the worst thing that's going to happen is like you're not going to get in and then nothing's changed. The um, best case scenario, you find something you love or maybe you get in and then you decide it's not for you. And in that case, you can drop it, but you can't. Um, if you don't audition, you can't try, like you can't go for these things. So that's for sure my advice. And I think Adam raised a really important point. Like you don't have to be involved in the arts to be involved in the arts, if that makes sense. You can go and support and you can watch um, performances and they're really fun. And especially I think right now um, because of coronavirus, like people are really appreciating any type of live performance that we can get. And yet it's a little weird, we're all wearing masks, like acting with masks on, singing with masks on, it is crazy, but just to go and soak up a live performance right now is so special. And I think we need the arts even more now than we ever did. That's right. We'll look back on this and be like, wow. Like that was, <laughs> that was a time of healing, like honestly. But um, me and Ellie, we wanna thank you guys so much for joining us today. I think this is a great conversation about the arts and hopefully we can invite you guys back for more. Um, Ellie, any last things to say? No, not at all. Have a lovely day. Come back, subscribe, watch our videos on YouTube, Spotify, and everywhere else that they are. Um, yeah. And this is Dear Dennison. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.